Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. This is the reading for Scorpio this week. Just in case you're new here, my name is Portia, Whispers from Heaven, Paranormal and Tarot. Um, I will lay the cards out and describe each card as I do so. But I do not do the reading till after I lay the cards out. So that way, you know, it all makes more sense. Because it's like a little storybook. So. And I've been doing these cards for over, over 40 years. So let's see what we've got for Scorpio this week. I'm a Scorpio, so it'll be interesting. Ooh, high Priest. So there's some studying you need to do. Okay. And I feel that. Some of you want to be free from someone or something or some place. You've got the Page of Swords and Justice. So, um, this is a child with a potty mouth. And I feel that if, if this child's not careful, he's going to end up in court. If he's not careful or she. And you've got temperance. So I feel at the moment there's going to be, you guys are testing the water. You're trying to you know, test things out and see what you like and what you don't like and see how things will work out for you. And you've got the page of coins. So this child. Could, can grow up to be a healer, okay? Can be, grow up to be a doctor. Just encourage them the right way. Remember, I'll read the cards properly in a minute. Then you've got the Four of Swords, which means time for rest. And you've got the Seven of Coins, which means, you know, you've made your choice of something, but now you're wondering if you made the right choice. It's growing your life, your kingdom, your, your finances. Right. Let's have a look, Scorpio, what we got for you the week ahead. Please, let's have the highest of truth come out. The highest of truth come out. We have the death card at the bottom, so there is an ending of something and a new beginning starting. Normally I see that when there's going to be like an end of a friendship and a new one starting. Oh, the lovers. Awesome. Ace of Swords. It's a new beginning. Nine of Swords is keeping you up at night. And the Four of Coins is either holding on too tight or not tight enough to your finances or something. Five of Wands is petty arguments. Seven of Wands is standing your ground. Two of Wands is looking back at the past. Wow, a lot of Wands. Oh, another ace. Well done, guys. Ace of coins. It's your finances, new beginning. Six of wands, there's a celebration. Three of coins, that's someone seeing what a good job you're doing. People noticing you. You've got the hermit, so it's time to, you might have to have time on your own to reflect. And then you've got the nine of coins, so it's being a bit... Enjoying the lifestyle. <laughs> right. Let's see how this works. Right. We've got the Page of Swords with the Justice card. So I feel that there is a child around you that you need to calm down. You need balance for that child. You need to teach them the balance so they, they understand balance in their life. I feel also it could be that your partner is younger than you, okay? 
and then you need to teach your partner that. You've got the Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords, it's um, a new beginning, a new mental beginning. Okay, so it could be money, you know, let's face it, that's mentally challenging. It could be a new job. But something's keeping you up at night. In the, this is in the past. So in the past, I feel maybe you were worrying about your finances and everything. And to right so, because you've got the four coins out saying, keep hold of your finances, okay? Then you've got the temperance. Well, temperance is like testing the water, testing things out, seeing how far you can push things and see how you can make them grow. Then you've got the page of coins. So I feel that it is finances you're trying to make grow. You are trying to get financially secure in your life. You've been petty arguments around you, okay? But you've stood your ground. You've stood your ground. But, you know, I feel that there's also, you're trying to plan for a holiday. So maybe there's someone you want to take on holiday with you and it's just not worked out. Okay, so maybe you'll be going on your own. Then you've got the Ace of Coins. So I feel there is a new financial beginning with you. So whether you're going to win the lottery or you've got a new job coming. And that's where the more money will come into it. Maybe it's a gift of money. Then you've got the Four of Swords. So it's a time to rest. And after all your hard work, you're being told you need to rest. Because if you don't rest, spirit will make you rest, okay? You have no choice in that. But there's something to celebrate. And I feel that there is a new job coming to you that you will, you know, you will be recognized for. People will see what a good job you're doing. And I feel that you could be working on your own, okay? So possibly self-employed. Then you've got the Nine of Coins. So I feel with the Nine of Coins, you're going to treat yourself with something nice with all the money you've got coming in. But there's also someone you need to help. Or you might need help. Ask for help. Because without asking, people don't know. You've got the Five of Swords, which is chaos around you. People not listening to you. They don't understand what you're saying. It's just not working out. But you have got the four of wands, so it tells me, you know, everything within the, within the home will be fine. But you need to work harder. You need to study more. That is so important, this studying is really important. We have the high priest somewhere. I think it was at the bottom of here, wasn't it? Yeah, look, you've had the high priest there with the studying. And then you've got High Priestess. So, yeah, study is important. And also, someone could know something that you don't, a secret. So, if there's a secret out there, you know, make sure no one's lying to you. Right. We've got Arson Fire. But that could be like fire in your heart, fire in your soul. Okay, you're a bit sad and unhappy. There's been arguments around you. Something in the wall, maybe someone's hidden something in the wall you don't know about. Okay, maybe you're going to cut ties with someone. You're being told to handle a person with care. You must hide them with care. Hiding, keeping the truth from you. There's that secret. Someone's keeping the truth from you. Okay, someone's stolen something. Have a look around, see if you've got anything missing. Okay, you, you might find a pr fingerprint or two along the way. C, the initial C. So... You know, anyone with initial C, it could be. So that's Carol, Karen, Katrina, Catherine, Carl, Chris. <laughs> Kieran. V, 
Victor, Victoria. And now I know there's loads more. Val. Valerie. Vincent. Right, let's see. So these are more for your emotions. Let's have a look. Neutral. Compassion. Maybe you need compassion for someone. Masculine energy around you. Harvest. Autumn. So something can happen in the autumn. Your twin flame. That's where the lovers come in. Rebirth. Winter. So they're saying autumn, winter time. You could meet your twin flame. Awakening. Limitations. Fears. One more, okay. The Ace of Fire. So that's the Ace of Wands, which is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And also the Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Yeah. A new creative idea. Something you're going to think of that's just going to be wow. Right, if you think of, try and think of a question you are answering. And I'll try and answer it for you. That was for Scorpio. You've drawn the Princess of Cups card. Wait for the secret to be told. There you go. I told you there's a secret. See? Okay, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying. You don't make it easy for me. You've selected the Three of Hearts. It will change your image. And one more. The primary sees a fork in the lifeline. You'll be happy either way. So you will be happy either way. Right. Now we're doing your manifestation card for the week ahead. Let's see what you get. You won't have the blue one. Okay, we'll have the blue one then. Change your life, ch sorry, change your whole life with gratitude. <clears throat> gratitude is riches. And complaint is poverty. It's the golden rule of your whole life, whether it's your health, job, relationship, or money. I'll read that once more. Change your whole life with gratitude. Gratitude is riches. And complaint is poverty. It's the golden rule of your whole life, whether it's your health, job, relationship, or money. So screenshot that. There you go, guys. There you go. Hope that was okay for you. Oh. Mm. Always happens. No, it doesn't. Going down again. There we go. Right. As always, stay truthful. Be happy. Have a beautiful week. Love and sparkle. Scooby Doo.